Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Asia Out Reacts with the two hosts of the Asia Out Podcast, Mike Fantini and Evan Worrell. And today we continue our journey through exploring Scholastic World WGI Percussion 2023 Finals. We're watching Avon High School today from our man, our base 311's channel, Robert Martinez. But on top of subscribing to his channel, you should definitely go subscribe to everybody else who puts in the hours, travels, provides these videos for us. That allows us to be fans because obviously not all of us can go everywhere every weekend. So go like their videos, which is more important than liking our video, which you should also do and comment and subscribe. And become a member of the channel, hit the join button. Social media, Facebook, Instagram, never miss an update, post shorts, reels, all that stuff, scores, predictions during competitive seasons. Podcasts on all podcast services. Man, that was a mouthful. That all just top, top off the top of my head. I don't know where that came from. So um, <laughs> Avon was great this year, dude. I yeah. Their show was so fun. Dude, awesome show. The Delta show, lots of nuance throughout the show of just like change, changing rhythm, changing the way that you manipulate the sticks to play the same rhythm in a different way, mm -hmm. uh, change with the props, just very clever all the way through and in an entertaining show as well. Yeah, I feel like the design team over there, they obviously hit a home run last year. They won a gold medal. The show was great. I would argue the battery was probably better this year than they were last year in terms of like playing ability and clarity. I think and in terms of ability, definitely. Um, I would say maybe like from finals run to finals run, last year's probably hit a little bit better. I would agree with um, that. Yeah. But this book is especially Way harder. in the snare voicing <laughs> very very difficult and challenging. I, I think the snare book for them this year was the hardest scholastic world snare book anybody played yeah it's probably it definitely like i would say piw class yeah. snare arrangement <laughs> it was it was very demanding um they hit it most of the time they were very good uh i think meddling is very deserved for this group yep. um yeah, so let's just jump right into Robert's uh, video here and just check it out. I love the risk. I know. Just they just freaking go for it. And they're like, if this hits, we're going to win. If it doesn't, <laughs> we'll still probably do pretty well. It's kind of like the BD mentality. It's like, we'll give you the vehicle. Yeah. If you, if you do it, you're going to be up there. <laughs> Very much so. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, just from the staccato buzz to the marcato, then to yeah. the roll, then to the threes. Just... So tough. This little AB work from the quads. Ooh, did you hear the pit run happening the whole time that was going on? <laughs> Plus, there's eight freaking marimbas. Which yeah, is eight insane. marimbas. <laughs> Listen to the run the front is playing underneath that AB quad moment right there. Let me back up. Uh, yeah, this should be far enough. Such a large, talented ensemble. Huge. I mean, their marching band's massive too, isn't it, in the fall? Yeah. Like, it's just a huge music program. But also, at the same point, they could have, like, scaled it down. Like, oh, instead of eight, we'll take our best six or five. Yeah. But, like... They didn't. Again, they freaking went for it and said, "If this hits, we're going. We're going for gold here again. Trying to run to repeat for sure." Now listen to the front. Under all this. Good singles across space. the whole battery. This battery tuning is great. Yeah. The blend is good. The sound. Good spot roll. The snare drum sound really Ooh. good. Fours, fours in there. Mostly good. I can't play fours today, but... I just really... 
really like the writing too. It feels very fresh. Um, I don't know. There's something about it. Both years, last year and this year, it's it's well done. It feels fresh. It's like it's it's its own identity. So yeah, very much. It's unique. It's different, and it's. I'm looking for the word. It's like on the tip of my tongue. It's I think different is the way to put it, but it's just it's difficult, but it's a digestible difficult. If that may, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't know who writes their battery books. So if anybody does know, put it in the comments on the video for us. Cause I'm very curious. space to attack the prep together good stick control through that whole phrase Voiceover as well in their show yeah. too. Yeah, very well. It's almost like an accent piece instead of like the point of the phrase. Instead of trying to spell out like some groups do, like through words, what's happening or what you should be thinking. It's almost like musically an accent piece to just make the it's music not, itself. Yeah, it's not more just effective. straight narration. It's yeah. it's a part of the show. It's a part integrated. of the musical integrated really well. Yeah, very much so. quality. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. I'm gonna that for us. <laughs> Dude, the morph Oh my the god, the fast the, 16th the note roll at the end. Yeah. So into that the was the best idea. phrase the snare lines played this entire video, <laughs> and that was nasty. Dude, the, go back. I, I want I, that one again. Dude, I'm going to back up. First, I knew the whole thing was going to be good when those six tuplet fast PDDs in between yeah. like the slower flam work were just nails. I was like, this is about to be so good. And just all that stuff, like the press strokes and getting off of it together. and like Switching that hand pressure from buzz right to open relaxation like that is not an easy thing uh all right just and then they do the the chains where they morph the the idea from the this uh, right hand i'm not gonna say a word through it just as a snare drummer i appreciate the hell out of that entire phrase just the six up what's at the beginning i knew it was going to be good from that point on Go home. That's phenomenal. Unreal. 
Dude, and both this and last year with the punching bags, just to do this in time. Like, cool, general effect, just audience engagement, just entertaining. Hand to hands. Down the whole baseline. Yeah. Word. Dude, the batteries is really good. They have my favorite battery book of Scholastic World. Such good variety, man. Yeah. Yeah, like the variety is so good. Like when I listen to the show, I don't feel like. There's a point where they're playing like a lick that I've heard no, multiple th times, it's, which is sometimes cool, you know, when you have like a motif, but it just feels fresh the whole time. I don't know well, how else to so describe it. So I mentioned it. in our Chino Hills video that came out before this one that, you know, they move in and out of the triplet rolls to threes to singles, some variation of combination of moving in and out of those three concepts. Like that's like the bread and butter of of like Chino Hills's book. They have variation in the features. They do what they do really well. But you kind of know, like we said, with them with them and Pulse, you just know it's going to be good. You know kind of what you're going to get from year to year with slight variation. They'll, they'll surprise you all the time, obviously, still. But this whole book from phrase to phrase, like just the yeah. rudimental variety and rhythmic variety, just you don't see any of it coming. Like it's all different from phrase to phrase. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to make it sound like those groups like Chino Hills I just said before plays the same thing every year because clearly they don't. But like you kind of know the baseline of where they start to variate on. Yeah, like certain people do have like things that they they're fall staples. back on. It's I mean, they're calling cards. Yeah, like you could say that about the Blue Devils or oh, yeah. Renick or Broken City, Tom Angst or whatever. Rhythm X, yeah, MCM. Exactly. Like there's yeah. things they do consistently within their For books. Sure. And this book, just like you said, phrase to phrase, is just enjoyable. You never know what's coming next. I favorite battery book probably of Scholastic World easily. No, doubt. might have been one of my favorite books like of the season across all. <laughs> Maybe of across yeah. all like like most enjoyable to listen to across a, all like platforms. A, yeah, all platforms. But <laughs> so yeah, we're big fans of Avon last year. Big fans of Avon this year again. Congratulations on the bronze medal. Um, just really looks Great like show. they've kind of found like their stride right yep. now. Can't wait to see what they do next season. I don't know if the battery's young, if the battery's old, the front's young, the front's old. I know two of the snare drummers are marching crown this summer. I don't I know so. if they're graduating, I would assume, but you never know. I know they were both in last year's snare line. Uh, it's actually these two right here, I think. This kid, the center, and then the kid next to him here with the glasses, I think, are the two marching crown. Um, yeah. Hopefully they have a good summer. Uh, Mike Jackson's a great guy. Uh, so thanks everyone for hanging out uh, go check out the podcast on podcast services like subscribe comment do you agree that Avon was amazingly fun to watch this year and a very good group um, yeah share the video Facebook Instagram Patreon hit the join button we will see everybody in the next one peace <laughs>